don't remember the skills or anything else like that. I just remember the lie I told and somehow it worked. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, the the cause effect, that was all the same. Um, uh, the, oh, there goes Wobbles. He's vanished. <gasps> He's a magician. He's back again. Never, I'm back. Never to be heard from again. Wow, <laughs> I actually have Wobbles. <laughs> or says, says, says uh, Brad. Uh, Aha! Wait, so, and wait, what? Is our incredible replacement vanishing magic act, which is that thing that just happened. Hooray! Ooh, let's play Dungeons ah, and Dragons. Ooh. Oh, Jukebox. I don't know if you ever told me that story, but I'm kind of curious. So Dungeons and Dragons time. That is the DM still writing down said table. I am not. I, I am. Yes, I am actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's... Man, that is the that is the fastest turnaround I think I've ever heard. No, of but actually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait. Yeah, that's that's still a table that needs to be built. Uh, no, I mean. All right, so there Kyle. we go. Actually, okay. actually done. All right. All right. So, is everyone ready? God, I hope so. So, hey, uh, we're going to be playing the role of David because he's not going to be ready for like at least another hour. So, okay. Hello, right. I'm extremely intelligent and magical, and far away. Oh, wait, let me make sure that the. Uh, oh no, it says the extension is He's on. He's not magical. His items are magical. Remember that. So he's, he's magical a, then. The, the smart words. Yes, perfect. The deception <laughs> is complete. We have arrived. He yes. is in a top. So, mm -hmm. you all are. <clears throat> On the carriage to Ojaverde, on your way, you see a three green hunting down a, hunting down some wild beast. Seems far from home. And as you pass by the, the tinsed plains, you finally make it to the famed Ojaverde, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Just verdant, <clears throat> rich countryside <clears throat> with. I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> You're fine, buddy. The wagon pulls up to the gate of Ojaverde, and you can see right in the center a particularly nice fountain down a row of what seem to be business buildings. <laughs> but you can still see in the background all the farmhouses, some windmills in the background as well. And... Make make a perception check real quick. Everybody. Okay. Okay, cool. Sorry, I was just updating that. Perception check already. I like it. I'm pulling up my character right now. Garbage. Oh, wait. Did we fully heal? No, you didn't. Okay. Well, if only... only... 13. You said perception, right? Yeah, perception. All right, 13, 14. Five. Five. Where's that 19 I rolled up there? Yeah, I see it. All right, so Iron, Stockshine, and Teo, you all see a weird mass of spinning red and blue triangles in the corner of one of the buildings. Like, just be just in between the alleyway of two of the buildings, you see a weird spinning mass of triangles before it slowly... Actually, not slowly, it, it's, it pulsates a little bit before vanishing. Did anyone else see that? I rolled a four, so I'm guess or five. I'm guessing mine is more of a well, nothing to see here. You're you're admiring the you're admiring the square. You're admiring the buildings. Oh, cool. Did anyone else see what I saw? Triangles. Yeah, and they just disappeared. Yes, it was very unusual. 
Hmm. I don't suppose it's more unusual than the talking gorilla, the flying swords, or the carnivorous geometry we encountered on the way here. <laughs> but it also did try to kill us last time, so let's hope this one bucks the trend. Um, well, let's just be on our guard because it seems like uh, people are under attack quite a bit. I I would like to gesture to Magnus. At all. Well, I would like actually, to ask Magnus if he can make a, an Arcana check. Um, smart, brilliant uh, board game playing, Matt. Yes, you know, yes. What is it? Do you, what do you know of throbbing geometry? Robbing geometry. Uh, robbing geometry. What do you mean, robbing geometry? This makes sense. Oh, I said throbbing, and then I described oh, the pulsating mass geometry. of triangles that then whirred and disappeared. Robbing geometry. I don't swing that way. Go away. Blast! He won't make an ability check for me. <laughs> He's no true comrade of mine. As I tweeted, it's beneath him. Are you saying that I might not know something? Let me see. What what are, what are you on about, about this throbbing geometry? Well, Teo and I saw a mass of what appeared to be glowing triangles. Well, uh, red and blue. Red and blue. Yes, natural enemy colors. So it Where... stands to reason that their union is some kind of foul sorcery. Your brain is full of fish. Where is... I wish. Where, where did you see this? I point to where I saw it. Well, Off yonder. He walks through the gate. He walks through the gate to Ojave today. He's kind of looking around, and then walks up to you where you supposedly saw it. And he jumps back, shocked. <sighs> Those weren't triangles at all. What? What is this? And he readies a firebolt in one of his hands. What's up, oh no no no? Doing and then well, buddy. He just hates it before playing DD. Calming himself. I don't know. I asked you. <laughs> I'm gonna There's... draw. I'm gonna draw my swords just because I'm scared all of a sudden. What? You startled the horse. Good job. <laughs> there was something right here. There was a. There was a figure right here. What? And nobody else saw that. Triangle. It was. There was a figure covered mm. in these red and blue triangles that you were talking about. And... He was rotting. Ugh. Rotting? Like undead? Not quite. More like... Dissociating. He, st he thinks for a second to find the right word. Nobody else seems to be disturbed by this. Actually, people seem to be out in the market. Buying and selling different kinds of food. After all, this is the gate. This is, there are many stands that you can see that have different ki uh, different kinds of fresh fruits and vegetables and produce and even some kill your cheese. Hmm. Are there any fish right. mongers? There are no fish. Aww. <laughs> this place is cursed. <laughs> yeah, There's I'm not meat, really though. getting a good feeling around here. We should just... Find out what we need to find out and leave. All right. So, uh, what are you going to do first? Is it a stand? Go to the square? Or maybe look around to see if anyone knows something. Or if anyone else has seen something about these figures or triangles. I think we should ask the town guard, at least. I'm sure there was someone posted out by the gate. No? Mm. Well, I'm... there was... This isn't a particularly hunted town. In fact, this town is protected under Gavia. Would anyone like to make a history check to see why? Um, My history is a minus two, so no. Mine's a I zero. Bet Magnus wants to. Magnus, he surely must know something about this. All right. 
Well, no, of course let me roll for Magnus yeah. real quick. No one could possibly DM do everything. While Magnus starts spewing out his mouth uh, with words that I can't under uh, understand, I have finally taken notice of their their intrigue with the area where possible semi undead thing was. Enough. I I'm gonna hop over and would like to make a survival check in the area where the uh, pulsating triangle man was. All right. See uh, if I can notice anything about what he was doing over there. Yeah. Roll. Uh, roll. A twenty-four. I love D and D. So All yes, right. Thank you. So you see hmm. footprints, and that's it. Just a single pair of footprints where the where the figure was supposedly standing but nothing around that area seems to be uh, it seems to be affected at all what would you like to hear yeah uh no that's that's just Really it? Find the local hot spot. Usually a bar, I guess. What well, yes. nice well, oh, is seem to have <laughs> Well, I seem to have Stockshime's attention. <clears throat> Probably for the wrong well, reason. You oh. as you look around, you don't see you don't see any particular bars, but you do see some what seem to be some wineries off in the distance. Well, that's gonna make one it of us very happy. dangerous ahead. I'll scout. <laughs> Just be on guard. I'm still getting into bad feeling. <clears throat> so as you guys are walking through Oja Verde, you're looking. Uh, you're looking around, and you see signs that lead to what seem to be a large estate. In fact, the signs say Santiago Farms listing off a map of the area around that uh, around said farms and a few other smaller farms off to uh off to the other side opposite uh opposite those big ones those smaller ones all also uh are labeled with two individual two individual farmlands called the the rose field and the corn maze as well as the Ooh. as well as the sunflower field farther down You are currently in the Veda Square, as well as the residential area. So it's the Village Square, and you're like near, kind of like the the front marketplace, but also there are houses there, like countryside villas. So, so my where do you feel like going? My mindset is just trying to see where we could find. AI or find the banners that we're looking for. So that's the big reason or a big like reason we're traveling. Find the banners. So I'm a little less concerned with you know Triangle Man, Triangle Man doing whatever Triangle can. Yeah, it's like and helping random people out. I want to find this banner and get on with the day. Nobody else? No. So where do you suggest going then? We could explore the town. So, I meant to ask you, uh, Sage, with these banners, they stand out pretty good? They're pretty big? Or is it like scour every building kind of thing? Like These banners are roughly, five, are, are roughly five feet in height, and they can't be put in a bag of holding. You have to carry it on your, either on your back or on your person. They are five, they are five feet tall and around, eh, let's say... Two, two and a half feet wide. Okay. Mm. They're sturdy too. They're designed not to break. So you could theoretically use one as a weapon, but there isn't much to use there. So I have the feeling these banners are going to be heavily guarded. So perhaps whatever it is you guys saw, that's where we should head. Because if I, in all my experience, 
If you encounter your obstacles and encounter enemies, it means you're going the right way. So let's go that way. Or you're going to prison. Or you're going to prison. As you guys walk, as you guys walk a little bit deeper into the square, you can also see hot springs nearby. Hmm. I'm that's kind a, of achy from the last lost. fight. <laughs> that is a good point. We should perhaps recuperate after our excursion. All right. Go into the hot springs. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? We're moving what? as a unit. I was hoping for one suck my unit. Do as you please. I'm going to stay out here. Mr. Birdman. Yeah, I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the hot springs. I disconnected for a second. All I heard was hot springs and then that was it. It was just dead silence. Jim Hatchet, uh, Jim Hatchet approaches and oh, I forgot about him. Looks a little bit, uh, looks a little bit longingly at the at the hot springs, having been covered in what he feels is like slime at this point. He walks into the hot springs and just relaxes his head. Sorry, I haven't been very talkative. I'm a little bit grossed out at the moment. Ugh. Hey, no worries, buddy. We're all trying to focus on the task at hand. I'm going to go relax in the hot springs because it is not common knowledge, but centaurs love a good hot spring. Yeah, well, that would explain why there's a centaur entrance over to the side. Nay, buddy, this town nay. For its accessibility. By the way, I'm just going to take, I'm going to take a moment to thank this town for being ADA compliant, even in a fantasy world. Right, I, I was exactly yeah, going to point that out. Because we are the special bus, probably. Um, yeah, I mean, you are literally the vehicle set. I'm aware. Yeah. All hot springs, all hot springs are required to have a, a, an entrance for every race. That's that that is law in Estera. All Incredible. just hot springs, or is it businesses in general? It's it's specifically for hot springs, but businesses also tend to use that practice because it's just good. It's just good business practice. It's not specifically enforced for them, but hot springs are a must. It was officially endorsed by the king of Heliograd, actually. He must be a hot tub or hot uh, springs enthusiast. <laughs> or a spa he is. owner. Maybe one of his. Never mind. I'm gonna being unawares of the particular laws of people towns. I'm gonna pull out the um, uh, my little plant, and uh, use the springs waters to uh, give it a little bit of water. <laughs> I'm also probably still on Kyle's back, so my legs are like partially sunken. Unless you're sitting, Kyle, and this, of course, I think I'm trying to swim. No, no, I, I'm very cognizant of you on my back, so. Cool. Cool, you, cool, cool. You have enough mobility to reach down and splash a little bit of water on your plant. And, uh, and make a, although I will say make a, an acrobatics check just to see if you can do it without showing what's inside. Because you can water it, but you might not be able to be discreet about what's inside. Oh, I, I'm not being discreet. I don't understand that I need to be discreet, so oh, I'm okay. not. All right. Well, in that case, I need to roll some dice. Perfect. I'm going to step away for like 20 seconds. Just go use the restroom, guys. Well, you're lucky. Okay. Uh, nobody seems to notice you while you're... Uh... Oh, by the way, I'm using Magnus's dice. Nobody seems to notice you while you're, uh... while you're watering your plant. So Perfect. nobody makes a fuss about it. As you all are chilling in the hot springs, you can feel the waters soothe your bones and revitalize you a little bit. You now gain the benefits of one short rest. Excellent. Perfect. I'm assuming this is still the same day. Yeah, this is still the same day. You, you guys have been in okay. for like 
You guys have been in there for just like, I don't know, 10 minutes. It's really soothing waters. There's really nice music playing in the background. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where is that music coming from? It, it's in your head. It just, it plays in the background and you just feel soothed as you're in it. And you feel yourself regain your energy. So yeah, benefits uh, of a short rest. Uh, the only cool. thing that would make this better would be a drink. I mean, you can drink the water, right? I'm sure it's good for that it's as well. Salt water. Maybe. Oh. It's salt water because it's good for the skin. Doc Shime just looks at you absolutely disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a. Well, I mean, you basically drink poison. How is this any different? It... Oh no! I mean, it's not poison. You wouldn't understand. Clearly, I don't. Is this not? I'm back. The same thing. Excellent. No, it's it's different. One of them is the feel good kind of poison. The other one is the fall down and die kind of poison. Oh, jeez. Um. Is there anybody else in the hot springs with us? I mean, I guess so, since you made a a roll I mean, for iron. There's just an old man. He's just chilling there. Hello there! Staring creepily. Yes? Uh, Are you enjoying your relaxing time in the hot springs? He doesn't particularly sound too inclined to speak. He just kind of turns back around. He said nay. To Man just lost his privacy. <laughs> I want to know more about this, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are his motives? Why is why is he here? Did he work a long nine to five job today? Does he have a family he needs to support? But this is his break away from his two families. What are why? Why does he why? Anyways, moving on. I'm sure he's got a very interesting filler arc. Oh, I know. I can't wait. Is he the cabbage man of this game, of this story? Oh, there was a short rest. Everybody that, roll me a that, perception check. Does that heal me, by the way? The should probably rest? leave him be. We haven't uh, acquired the prerequisites for his quest yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, you can you can heal uh, uh, any number of hit dice that you... You can expend hit dice to heal. Uh, I rolled uh, seven. Wait, I'm sorry. Um, what do you mean by expend hit dice to heal? Oh, oh, wait. Do you mean like... Wait, no, I'm actually very confused by that thought. So, so Kyle, from you... my knowledge... Oh, go ahead. Uh, anytime we level, we gain that hit dice. Also, oh. a, that is added to a pool. So when we take a short rest, we get to roll that many or any variation thereof let's say you want to save some for later if we choose to take a short rest later whatever you choose to roll you roll it that's how many hit points you gain back um so and, and you that can only get pool, those back at a long rest exactly and that pool is equal to your character level and the hit dice that you've acquired so you're just straight fighter you should have 4d10 yeah so it's your so short rest any... pool Okay, and so when I do so a long rest, I get that four, short rest back. Yeah, it's not a short rest. Well, you get your you get your uh, your hit die charges. So you could either do one short rest, and you 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 could either do four short rests and just expend one hit die on each one, or like two and you expend one on one and one on three, or just expend all of them on so, one short rest, which is so, what most people do. Okay, so I'm gonna do. So I feel a long rest coming up eventually. I will do one, two, <laughs> hey, hey. That's a very foolish thing to to try and I exactly. plan I, around. No, I was gonna, that is a very I, foolish thing to try and plan I around. I was thinking I'll do three just to make sure I get max and just save my fourth one. It's like my, oh, our healer sucks. Um, I'm kidding, buddy. So <laughs> is there a way to do three of these? Or I'll no, remember I just, that. 
two, three of them. There we go. Roll. Roll, my little dice. Roll. Six, six, six. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> well, that's impressive, if not for boating. <laughs> <laughs> what the actual hell? For the brief I'm going to have to ask everyone to make a perception check real quick. Steve yeah. Birdman grows horns. Skin <laughs> dark, and the skies split asunder while choirs <laughs> screaming blood, blood, blood fill the air. <laughs> All color fades out. It's Everything becomes black and white. Also, I, I rolled a 19 on my perception check three minutes ago. Yes, I rolled a 17. <laughs> You're a devil, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> you the devil. My, my mama says he was. Is that a Waterboy reference? Sorry, perception. Yeah. I healed my 18... And I stopped to clip that 666. Oh my and god. And you sold your soul in the process. 14, so 15 on my perception. I really am the villain from My Little Pony. God. Yeah, you have opposable thumbs. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so. Are you? Please continue. Has everyone made their has everyone made their perception check? Yes, sir. Yeah. Excellent. So, only Teo and uh, only Teo and uh, Steph see this. So, you guys see. You guys just for a quick second, see a quick flash of the town, and all the buildings look really, really shadowed. Like they're basically the buildings just are kind of like a lighting glitch. Maybe is the best way to describe it. Like if all the light was just not hitting it. But also, you see these figures around, just surrounded by these spinning re uh, red and blue triangles, and they're just cackling, but also crying at the same time, and they're just looking around as if they're lost. I mean, also, they're just right there. But... As soon as you see- like, as soon as you see this, and as soon as you get the chance to, to soak all of this in, you quickly snap out of it. So the old man it... seems to be really rattled too. <laughs> okay, because I wasn't the only one that saw that. Uh, yeah, guys, this place is uh, cursed because Wait, who saw that? You guys, you guys saw that? You don't seem to yes. hear it from around here. Here, you can come closer. I, I won't bite. Biting, I'll leave to the creatures around us. I want to get out of the water all of a sudden. If you can see, then get out. Get out. Oh, the old man gets out and he is completely the old man gets out and he is completely clothed and his clothes are drenched. Okay. I, now I really want to know his backstory, but I'm getting out of the water first. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I think we should leave. This we is unnatural. This is demonic. Yet. We have not visited the winery and I'm inclined to do so all of a sudden. Demonic, you no, said. What are you guys Sam? doing? Getting out of the you water. You saw the visions. Yeah, you guys got out of the water. You guys got out of the water. Now, what are you doing? Um. Can we ask the old man more questions, or did he just like leave? The old man's still there. He's he's like, he's shivering because he's in his wet clothes, but he's like trying to shake it off. And what he was says, that? So what? Yeah, exactly. What was that? If. You I already know what it is. Can you explain? I've been seeing them here for the past couple of weeks. We got them to, to fight them, but I just need someone else to see them. Them being, of course, these paradox bastards. I'm just trying to get them out, but no one else can see them. See? Do you know why you can see them and nobody else can? Of course I know! I've been taking selenium pills for the past 12 years! Years of truth are coursing through my veins! Uh, oh dear. Is, is, what do you say, selenium? Is that selenium. a, like, selenium, sorry. Is selenium a common knowledge? I'm gonna... I'm no, gonna make you don't know what the fuck he's talking about. You don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Take it, make a medicine check. 
22. <laughs> this dude's nuts. Selenium is... Like, what What the fuck is this dude doing? You do not take selenium pills to... So, selenium... The truth. You don't know what the fuck selenium is, but yeah. this dude's rambling on about it, and you assume that it's some sort of placebo magic that people are trying to talk... Uh, like, that people sell a snake oil. Uh, hold on. Let's, let's be very clear, just to make sure that your brand of insanity matches ours. Uh, what have you seen? Describe it with Ooh. words. I've been seeing these figures with triangles rotating around them. There it is. Triangles. He's itching, keyword. He's, he's itching his arms as he's saying this. Yep. We, we you saw mean the alcohol wolf? Man in the alleyway, or the window. Or the... Look out! Make a uh, okay. <clears throat> stock shine. Make a <laughs> dexterity check. Easily done. You know, that's close to a lot of big numbers on the dice, but I rolled a four, so I got a ten. <laughs> you feel hands, you feel hands uh, come out from behind and grab you, and you feel a bite coming, uh, coming into your sh uh, shoulder. All right, you take 1d4 necrotic damage and 1d4 radiant damage. Now let's roll for that damage and see what happens. Necrotic and radiant, interesting. Take seven, uh, take uh, four necrotic and three radiant damage. Ah, uh, no, thank you. I would rather not, if that's <laughs> okay. I choose to deny your damage. You I can't. do not consent. <laughs> oh. Blah, also, what the hell was that? Blah. Also, roll me two d sixes, please. Well, since you said please. I need an adult. I rolled all I am seven. an adult. You rolled what? I rolled a seven. No, tell me the individual result of each one. A four and a three. A four and a three. And all right. A four and three. So. All right. So. For the time being, subtract one point from your intelligence and add one point to your constitution oh whoops okay you can do that yes my stats are now temporarily modified okie dokie i have done so or i've noted it in notepad did you... Oh, wait, hold on. I need to change it on D&D Beyond real quick. Hold up. Other modifier, plus one. It actually... All it does is boost my con modifier by one. My intelligence modifier. You've never been camping, change. Kira? Ah, oh, We're doing an A1 Twins camping trip. Let's do it. Everybody come down here. Ooh, that'd be fun. All right. And now, you can start to see the town as it was. You can see the villagers around you, but they don't seem to be aware of the creatures or the state of their village at all. And you're not, your eyes aren't going back. You can see it as the, as it is. Of course, you can still see your, your party members and such, but you are seeing these creatures and this weird darkness looming over you. Um, I try and I spin around and I try to see if the thing that grabbed me and then bit me from behind Appreciate you, is box. one of these creatures. You turn Hello, around buddy. and you see it. It's cackling, but also sobbing. And it's surrounded by these triangles that just keep impaling it, but also healing it. And it <clears throat> looks like it's in pain. But well, it's I'm lot. in pain too, so deal with it. Can anybody else see them, like, right now? So did it I know runs at you. Uh, roll for initiative. Just you, okay. Stockshine. I was like, can just can me. I see this while it's going on? Because clearly my buddy just got bit or attacked. So, uh... You can just... You you just see him. You don't see what he's... Do you don't see what he's doing, but so you, you can like hear... So it's almost like a bee is attacking him, and he's really worried about it. 
Yeah. Yes. Kind of like I that. rolled a 20. Except for there's fear in his... Okay, you were... for initiative? Shit, all right. Dope. So it right. is like he is reacting and physically reacting to something. He's not like yeah. canatonic and this is happening in his head. He is legit. Okay. He's yeah, actually reacting to this. Cool. Although the villagers don't seem to notice that he's reacting to this at all. Uh, all right. So it's your turn. Well, the thing is right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Then I think it's running first... towards you, actually. Oh, well, uh, how many feet away from me is it? It is currently 15 feet away from you. Okay. That'd be amazing, Sarah. Well. I will fly. I, I, are we indoors? Is the is the hot springs no. indoors? No. No, no, okay. no. The hot springs was just out in the middle of the uh, out in the middle of the square. Then I will. Or not in the middle, but like towards the uh, towards the back of the square. I will fly fifteen feet in the air, straight up, <laughs> and then I will, um, and then I will draw my magic sentient blade. Nice. That I got last adventure. I actually that forgot was... you had that. Mm -hmm. Yes, so did Sun I it. until just now. Uh, <laughs> the notes. <laughs> Zeridian Sun looks to you. But, well, as much as a sword can look. And it seems kind of resigned. It's displayed at you. Zeridian it seems resigned. Uh, look, I'm remembering your name because I'm taking you seriously right now. It looks at Go you a little bit as if down this down was... mystical foe! And I, and I will um, heave it towards the general direction of the triangles. <laughs> and the, the paradoxical barbarian. person. Alright, so, you throw Zeridian Sun at the... You throw Zeridian Sun at the zombie, and... Uh, let's see. Roll, uh, roll the hit. Nice! Roll... Oh, all right. just, just roll a d20. Just roll a d20 real quick. Roll. I rolled a 13. You rolled a 13? All right, you hit. So. So what have we you're... seen? He's just attacking something random. He said it looks like a you, you, So what you've seen is, you've seen him jump up into the air, take out his sword, and then throw his sword at a random place. And so, what, hap what happens next is Zeridian Sun comes into action and delivers three three slashes to the zombie, dealing, let's see, one, two, three. Fourteen damage to it, killing it immediately. What are you attacking? Oh, Stocksheim, are you all right? Do you, you notice guys don't all see... the blood? You guys didn't see anything happen, but the but the zombie just got completely fucked up. Like there are chunks of it just spewing everywhere in your vision. And as you see it and as you see it, the vision slowly start to fade. I text you don't you see him anymore. You don't see the gore anymore. It's just your sword lying in the ground. Floating up a little bit, cleaning itself off before going over and giving you a slight bap with the uh with the handguard and before returning to its sheath i'm gonna have a little blank glance over at our uh, selenium friend did he respond or do anything he is he is he is shitting his pants right now he's like Gross. looking up and like okay not literally not literally cool. but he is he is losing his shit right now did he you like, do that I, before we got in the hot I grabbed <laughs> Kyle's face and like... He's in shock right now, so, it doesn't see, so he's not saying anything, but he is shook. Yeah, I, I'm gonna grab Kyle's general back of head and gently turn it towards our, uh, our, uh, our friend. He looks over okay. at your, he looks over at your shoulder and he's like, The bite! It's there! And he grabs, he grabs your shoulder and he looks at it and he says, the bites are only temporarily temporary. If you let it fester for a while while you're here, it'll end up setting in. <sighs> but you can't leave now. Not while he's still here. Here, I'll lead you to, to where I think he once was. Was is a 
bit of a strong uh, word, but but I I think I can show you something. I have solved the mystery. Okay, what do you got to show us? Because we've got to get our friend some help. He's looking a little more sickly than usual. Rude. He starts to <clears throat> he starts to lead you somewhere. Uh, you guys are walking down what appears to be a street, a street towards the large villa uh, from uh, the the large villa that's kind of off the side of the residential area, but isn't like in the same direction as Santiago Farms. It's nearest to the rose field. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Uh, as Yo, Q Bear, thirty months! Oh my I would god, like thank you, to dude. Scoop up a small handful of like tiny pebbles a little bit of gravel and Thank i just you, bear. Throw love you buddy random person who's doing this this is stock shine oh yeah all right just stock shine not, not like not like baseball pitcher throw but just sort of gently gently toss it like, like towards somebody toss some gravel toward you like toss some very small gravel gravel pebbles towards someone and they react like backing away from you and kind of like you know as if a normal person like a normal person would if you threw pebbles at them <laughs> my apologies i thought you were a vision of the past and the future at once attempting to destroy me <laughs> i get like that right. sometimes he starts to look at you suspiciously and then walks away still a little bit suspicious of you well, now I'm no Guys, there's no time! <clears throat> Come on, I can... I can show you the easiest way to see them. Then... Okay. <sighs> where... Wait. Where are we? You, uh... You're seen in a large... At, so as you're approaching the rose field, you kind of get caught in this large circle of crops. And you're not entirely sure why this path led through crops, but what? They're closing around you. I will fly into the air again the moment they begin to do that. Make me a dex check. Only me? Yeah. Is only uh, Sockchim seeing this? N no, uh, everyone's seeing the, the, oh. um, the overgrowth uh, surround them. Saving throw or ability score? Ability check. Acro actually, uh, make me a make make me an athletic or er, acrobatics check. Sorry. A fifteen. A fifteen. It, you fail. You're smart. Uh, you the corn, uh, the crops begin to grow up, up and up, and they scoop you in as you're trying to escape and the entire field just slowly closes in on you guys uh and then can i do a fly as well <laughs> everyone i'm just everyone's vision goes black for a moment as the crops overflow uh flood them over when you open your eyes again you can see the world as Doc Shime saw it, with these weird undead with triangles or, uh, around them everywhere. And you can see the old man looking just terrified, but also a little bit more reassured because he can see that he can sense that you guys can see this as well. Do the so it's not the selenium because we haven't taken that. Uh, are our hands bound or anything? With them. He's what? saying he spread it in the water. This is why you can't trust water. The wobbles get more quieter, isn't it? Trust me. me. I'm a sailor and a fisherman. I would know. Uh, what's the... Uh, are they, like, just all around us? Do the zombie things notice us? Hey. Zombie things don't notice you. Oh, crap. I just realized I was muted. I'm like, man, you guys are ignoring my question. I... Yeah, well, yeah, what's no, no, no. What's I just asked, like, are my hands bound and my feet? I have four of them, you know. Your hands and feet are not bound. No. You have zero feet. You have hooves. 
Oh god, they took my feet. Oh god. Uh, I think the more cursed image would be a centaur with feet. Let's be honest. Right? Oh, 100%. <laughs> the drug is in the water. Um. So now we can see these things, right? I draw my swords. All right, so you draw your swords and... Probably do nothing right. to them, but I'm terrified right now and I just blacked out. I draw my swords. Are you going to approach any of them or are you just going to draw your swords? Because none of them see you and none of them are approaching you right now. I'm going to think about it for a second, but I'm going to be ready for if one of those things tries to bite me. They're just kind of vibing, but they're also really active and they're moving really quickly, but just like kind of slow is there a discernible quickly but slow the movement are they going in the same direction none of them seem to be they kind of seem like the ghosts of christmas past of the future now like like spirits of what we're here i don't know it's just kind of the vibe i'm picking up old wet man i will point at the old wet man you said you said you could lead us to him who's him yes of, of course i can lead us to him i can lead you anywhere i know everything hell i no. i i've been taking selenium pills 12 years because i know everything why do you think i, I... he's losing his fucking mind somebody make somebody make a wisdom save right now anybody Yes, my wisdom. I got it. Biased. I okay. got it. Do it. Do it. Twenty six. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to like wake it. it too because I'm crazy, uh, apparently. So you know this might not actually affect me, anyways. But yeah, twenty six. So you can understand that this guy is like th this guy is about to say something that's going to kill him. And you and, and you have a really short reaction window to make him oh to make him uh, stop talking. <laughs> All right, what he's going to say is about to harm, like kill him. I I jump off of uh oh well actually I think this might let me make an athletics check to attempt to jump off of the horse and uh, bound over to him and put my hand on his mouth and. Uh, I break my ankles and fall on the floor. <laughs> Not a natural one, but a you one. You fall off of St uh, off of Steph Birdman, and you are just kind of sitting there. You can kind of try and move there, but I'm not sure if your arms would let you move that quick. And he just starts ranting. He talks Alpha. about all the knowledge he has. He talks about everywhere he's been. He says, I even know the king of the... I even know the Sun Emperor's real name! It's Attic! And then, as soon as he starts to say these words, his body becomes enveloped in radiance. He, become, he is pierced by several spears of light. And you can kind of see a figure of a man emerge from his mouth hey real quick guys I, I hate to i hate to pause this amazing uh gripping monologue wobbles internet just died he said uh-oh we're down Damn. to wobbles anyway so something popped out of his mouth and it was what Lupini. seems to be a human uh, a figure of a man popping out of his mouth before slowly being absorbed into the radiance and shooting off to somewhere eastward Um, and I'm I'm on the floor reaching up to try and stop him and I'm just like oh. I'm gonna I'm he's gonna, gone. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up uh blot and put him back on my back. Not only is he gone, oh. but he not not only is he gone, but like his what was his skin is kind of just like Lots of on fun. the ground. No, 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 no. Kind of like of fun, buddy. It was Thank a, you. It was much love. I'm tired. Though. Just like made into a leather. Ooh. There's there's no guts or anything. It's completely is it leather clean. armor. Like, 
I'm kidding. It's not. It, you could not wear it. I, I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. I'm going to look at Magnus and be like, uh, what just happened? <laughs> Magnus is terrified right now. He says, I, I, he can't, he can't get the words out, but you can tell that he's about to say, I don't know. <laughs> he just pains him too much to say that. And he just can't out of principle. <laughs> so I think we should stay quiet and not yell and draw attention like he did. What was and the first part of that name that he said? I'm trying to remember. Ara something. Yeah. Brad Dive. <laughs> <laughs> ara, ara, ara. <laughs> so I see Wobble says here, use the stock shine behavior flow chart. Talk about drinking Two. hit things with quarter staff three, use key points to be awesome. Hopefully his internet comes back soon. Stock shine. Birdman. Magnus, where are you guys? What? Where are you? You can see. Actually, it's Jim. He's in the distance. He can't seem to see where you guys are. Oh, good. But he's looking for you. We're, um, we'll get his attention over thank here. Thank you, Wobble. Or thank you, Wobble. Thank you, Wolf. What do you say? Uh, over we're here. over here. <laughs> Try not to yell too loud. Right. <laughs> I I'm not saying that. I don't know those two words. All right, hold on. Or at least try to make my tongue utter them. Hi, puppy. All right. He can hear you guys. He goes over to where you guys are talking, and then he see, and then he's like, wait, where are you guys? I can't see you. Wait, hold on. He uh, puts his hands together, uh, makes some motions over his eyes as if he was, as if he were doing like the, uh, the somatic parts of a spell, and then drags them across his eyes, and you can see them uh, light up. Wait. What are you, what? What are you guys doing here? Our best. What are you doing over there is yeah. my question. How? What plane is this? You guys. Is... I don't know. It just. All of a sudden How... we're here. Blacked out. Now we're here. I mean, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very near alternate, but I have no idea how you guys got it. What? What what's the last thing you guys can remember? We went corn. <laughs> we went <laughs> through the corn and it enveloped us in shadows and darkness and now we're uh, here. It was very fast. Oh boy. Hold on, I think I know who this is. Yeah, so we're dealing with the necromancer right now. He is absolutely insane. He's probably somewhere in the Westward Swamps. And uh, if I were a betting man, he's probably the reason why there isn't a banner in Ojaberde right now. Because he took it, or...? Because it doesn't exist. Because right now, it's in a state of both existing and not existing. Oh. But we could get a banner if we solve this conundrum. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we should, it's a 50, I'll, I'll say it's a 50, 50, but, uh, I'll make damn well sure we get one either way. Uh, yeah. So this dude's name is Seamus and, ugh. yeah. So what else? He, did, he never about? really went, he re never really went more, th uh, by more than just Seamus, but he was a, he was another student under under the teacher of uh, under my old teacher. Ugh. Always bragged about being better than me too. I'm glad he's gone, but he left with some powerful necromancy spells. <clears throat> Went too deep into philosophical questions and ended up going mad. And now he has this whole town under his grasp. Yeah. Would seem that he possibly even made up the banner idea to get people to flock to this town. Hmm. Adventurers are stronger souls. And then my face goes blank again. 
and I pay attention to my plant. Well, I suggest we make our way towards the westward swamps. It's they're not too far from here, and that's probably where he set up because that's where he can get the most. I don't know. Maybe he's just cliche. And so you can see Jim Hatchet start to storm off. Are you guys coming? I've got a score to settle anyways with this guy. I want out of this town. Then I suggest you start running with him. Luckily, it's not that far. Uh, it's not that far away, but it is going to take you guys some time to get there. It'll take you guys around, let's say, three hours to get there. And I'm going to roll one d4 real quick for later. Two. All right, that's reasonable. And you got a, and a, we're going to take a short break real quick. Cool. Gives me a chance to get up and, and stretch my legs. Yeah. So this is so this is time when you guys can like talk while you're running, talk to each other. I mean, not really because you you're running, but you guys run I can so talk. slow. Oh wait. You guys are so slow. Try to keep up. Well, right. how about you give us a ride then? Intermission. Ah, grabbing a yeah. soda. Can't hear you. Intermission. Thanks, Dan Cuber, for the tier two. Bear back, guys. You fly at 60 move speed, you're good, Robbles. What did I miss? What are we talking about? What's going on? Am I Nothing currently. So, uh, oh, I thought we were taking a break. Okay. We are. He said this is where we can talk. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just saying like, so Blot. You could talk to me, I guess. Pe peculiar name, <laughs> Blot. The stagehands have set up the next scene. Please remain patient. There are only two stagehands and they are very underpaid. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the, uh, do you remember the Nin 10? Don't! Yeah. Yo, sweetheart Allie, what's up? I'm gonna full screen this for a minute. What's up, Allie? Just having a D&D session. Um, no, the old uh, Nintendo. Don't. But it was uh, the intermission that they had. They redid the song from Animal Crossing, so it's just them going. Eh, eh, I don't know. All I know is we have managed to lose a follower since starting the stream. High five. It's all good. Uh, are you guys tired today, or is it just me? I'm a little tired. Yeah. yeah. Eh, it's all good. I'm uh I don't know. I'm strangely excited to go back to work because like it's just been Ooh, Seems that's like you've been in a lot of action lately. Yeah, I was gonna say we've been busy. Like last shift was the first shift we've gotten without a working fire in like two months. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that, that's smart. So we lost a follower and Wolf says it was the first 30 minutes that did it. So Allie, since you're here, the first 30 minutes I played, uh, dating or sibling or dating that Instagram page where we have to guess and it broke my soul. Oh God, that was terrible. I thought it would be funny. It's like, this is great content, but it wasn't it said it was funny, but it was just me and wobbles, like questioning everything ever. It's like, 
<laughs> what what kind of sweet home Alabama, Utah Bama stuff is this? Well, that's a good idea. I should probably turn off my follower account on that little uh, scroll bar. I'm gonna mute myself for you guys for just a second so I can talk to chat. All right. Hey, Ali, so I didn't get to hear the rest of your story, but I was going to rewatch your VOD. How was your hike, though, in the mountains? Did you have yeah, fun? Yeah, Brad. 14 is actually, is actually pretty good. It's uh, hey guys, type it's in really chat enjoyable. when we're ready. Actually, I'm just going to mute, too. Yeah. Yeah. How's that hike? I love One thing I do love about where I live is that the mountains are right there. I'd say what way east was. I probably lost an Alabama follower. Probably. It's all good, though. It's all good. I don't mind. Or it was probably somebody who came in that had duplicate accounts. At the Parkway and journaled. That's cool. I need to keep a journal again. Just because uh, I used to. And now I think it'd be really good just because of my job. That, like, I don't remember calls I ran on two days ago let alone calls I ran on two years ago. So I think that'd be really cool just to like keep a journal of like some of the exciting things I see. So when I'm retired or, you know, no longer around, like kids and grandkids and great grandkids could read it and get an idea of what kind of like firefighting stuff I saw. I just think that'd be a neat idea that I, I, I don't know. I should just start journaling. Also, I want to say thank you for those who saw today's TikTok. Uh, I got the idea from Sweetheart Alley. She has an Eris cosplay. Aerith? Eris? Aerith? It's so hard for me to say Aerith. Cosplayer. Her sister does. Her twin sister. And so she made that TikTok. And I'm like, eh, I was in. I do, but you know why? This is true. Thank you. I forgot to tag co or hashtag cosplay. I'm like, gonna have to do more Goku cosplays. Plus, I'm going to redo that one from yesterday with a girl that just kept asking the question for a minute. Grandpa Kyle. I want to be a grandpa. I'm missing a few key steps, though. Oh, well. For now, I get to be the awesome uncle that takes my nephew and family rides or riding on fire trucks. Like, that's so cool to me that I get to do that. I'm still like a kid when I climb in the fire truck. I'm like, <laughs> I get to drive. Tell us the story again. So... This is because I don't have a fidget spinner. Um, so for those who are newer here, and while I wait for them to pop in, uh, the story, the full story is on YouTube, but this is what's called a challenge coin. Um, and it's given to firefighters. It's like our equivalent of medals, Allie. And it's given when you go, well, it says it at the top, service before self. And most people go their whole career without getting one. Um, and in this case, I got it because my crew and I responded to a third floor apartment fire uh, that was so bad, the individual, uh, hey, Sarah, hit me up about that. I can give you guys a ride. Um, but the individual in the particular uh, like apartment that was on fire was hanging out of his window about to jump. He actually threw two pillows that were on fire uh, out and on the ground to use as like a little crash pad. Um, and we were able to get there just in time and save him, which was crazy. And then we were able to mitigate the damage to the rest of the complex. It was already spreading into the neighbor's apartments and we were able to save everyone's lives, which was absolutely nutty because that fire was, it was one of the craziest, like seemingly out of control fires I've ever witnessed. I uh, and yeah, so 216 2021 Wellesley Fire driver me. So engine ladder rescue and ambulance. So for us, rescues are ambulances, more or less. So and yeah, Ms. Ogin, uh hit me up and we could try to find a day that uh you guys can stop by, see the truck, and I can just give you a lap around. The adrenaline starts when the tones go off. So we have an app on our phones that tells us like, usually it comes like 10 seconds before the tones go off, which is still a good little jump. Um, but it tells us if there's going to be a fire or a fire is getting dispatched right now. And we can look at the address and be like, we'll be on that or we won't be on that. So when I hear the app go off, I get a small adrenaline jump. 
when the tones <laughs> to meet my LC, there you go. He loves you. Uh, but yeah, when the tones go off, it's a full adrenaline dump, like hearts racing, hyper focused. Everybody is dead sprint to the truck. It's like shut off all the burners. If we're cooking anything, make sure the door is locked on our way out. Cause our front door, we pass it on the way to the, uh, truck bay and it's it's a sprint everybody is get into the truck as fast as they can i turn on the truck i make sure everybody's in the door is all the way open and i go i uh, it and that's where it's scariest for me is when you're driving code three so lights and sirens going it's terrifying because the element of everybody else around i'm confident confident and competent enough in my driving that I can get us there safely. But there's always people who they'll be in the left lane where I'm driving and they don't know to pull to the right. They just slam on their brakes. So I have to like try and swerve around them and hope nobody's riding next to me. And uh, there are people who see fire trucks and ambulances as a means of getting through traffic quicker. So they'll kind of like be right behind us Uh, yeah, and so I have to avoid, like, when I have to slam my brakes, hope that they don't hit. The internet's back, yay. Don't pay attention properly, see it all the time, right? Um, engineer is the busiest person in the world, I'd say for the first five minutes. It depends on how rural your fire station is. Mine, we're pretty close, so for the first five minutes or so... Wobbles, yay, your internet's you back. Um, Fortune, thank you so much, 19 years, 19 months. Yay, 19 months. Let's give you a free dinner at 20. Yes, you get to redeem it. Uh, one coupon for a free thing. So for the first five minutes, the driver is insanely busy, but it's as busy as you want to be. So like I have to put the truck in pump, make sure we're good. I see there's a hydrant within range. I'll pull two or 300 feet of this 100 pound per stick uh, fire hose on the ground, which is extremely heavy. Um, I will pull the another hose line so that they can have a backup line ready. Uh, I get all the tools. At that point, if we're first in, I'm a pure support role. I get everything I can for the guys that are about to go on the fire. If we are second in, which you know happens in where we're at, like I get out of the truck and I'm putting on my gear because I'm going in that fire to fight the fire myself too. So it uh it depends. It all depends. I'm so full. My waitress was amazing. Tell you the story after I'm done. Go for it. Tell, tell the story. Only in the movie is Wolf. It's too dangerous. Otherwise, people fall off and they're dead. So it's not worth it. That is also an OSHA violation. Yeah, you see guys riding on the outside. It's just movie. What other questions do you guys have about firefighting? Let's, let's open this up to an AMA. I love it. I love it. I could talk about firefighting all day and night. That's what he figured. Yeah, no, it's a big old OSHA violation. And even then again, it's, it's not worth the risk. Plus that also means that they'd have to bunker up and get everything on before we leave. And usually that's done while driving. So I went to dinner at Texas Roadhouse, the waitress and I vibed like vibed. She gave me rolls to take home and by rolls, I mean a lot sending you proof. Ooh. I like proof. So my station has two vehicles. We have a fire engine and a rescue. Um, the most I've seen at a station is they'll have a fire engine, a ladder truck, a rescue. Uh, there was a hazmat squad. So their specialty is, you know, has hazardous materials, hazmat. A chief truck was there, so one, two, three, four, five. I've seen, yeah, there's five trucks at some stations. Most only have two. Um, so six person station, which is pretty average for my city. Uh, I think most stations will have two or three. So you'll have an engine and a rescue at every station and then a ladder truck at some. 
and that gives you either six or nine people in house uh, and it's fun we're ready okay guys back to DD hi friendos ah wrong button hello hello so yeah. wobbles internet came back but I now that. he's uh eating ew eating's for nerds uh, Kira, I'm working on getting Swift Water certified right now, too. And Heavy Technical Rescue certified. So, this was a fun three hour ride to go deal with this person. King Ada Ara Ara Ara. Ara Ara Ara. That's no. not him. Were you paying attention? Necro's name is Seamus. Oh, was it Seamus? No. I think I missed that yeah. part then. Yeah, so what you guys know so far is that bad. Jim Hatchet used to work with this dude. Um his name is his name is Seamus and he's completely insane. He essentially went 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 off the deep end with philosophy and ended up like just going insane and uh centering all of his magic around it and trying to answer those questions and so the reason the reason you know this is because jim used to train with him they were like students under the same teacher and you just know that he is probably somewhere near the westward uh swamps though jim wasn't entirely specific about how he knew that he just kind of said that Bottom line, he knew. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, my bad. I might have missed that part while yawning. And not yawning because of the story, just yawning because of genuine exhaustion. So. Security, pulsing triangle. Guy died because Kingara. Necro's name is Seamus. Jim Hatchet worked with him. He went insane. I'm taking notes, though. Yeah, Arash Kara. Um, I totally filled in the rest of the, the name there, but that's the Sun Emperor. Nope. Or the something Emperor. You don't know what the hell you heard. The Emperor of the New Clothes. Fine. I mean, yes, I a Blot absolutely has no idea. Nor does he care, sort of. I mean... He does. Poor guy said something and had an aneurysm, so you know. Ah. Poor guy. Now we'll never... Or Poor never guy know. said something and then exploded into light. So he was saying it was Michael Jackson. Uh. Now who's Michael Jackson? Uh? I guess we'll never know. Moving on. <laughs> he did say he was the sun god, so it checks out. <laughs> Michael Jack. I gotta turn wobble. I can't turn wobbles up anymore. Dang it. Am I still really quiet? You're soft. A little bit. I may have to get a new headset. I'll just crank this shit. Boom! There you are. Hey, let me know. Is it on your Amazon wish list? I'll send you one. No, I don't have an Amazon wish list. Me neither. Because I just not my my thing but i'll send you one anyways because i love you oh wow wow i'm going to eat mcdonald's because that's what i ordered <sighs> so Thanks. i will be mute but i will chime in every now and then with something witty and helpful that's good so we're on our way to see seamus the necromancer indeed in the swamp in the swamp why is you... irish seamus Sorry, keep going. And as you guys are walking towards the swamp, you guys encounter two more of these weird paradox zombies. And they attack. Everybody roll for initiative. I can do initiative. I don't know how I'm rolling so high in initiative. Usually I roll like crap. You want to see roll like crap? Here's my minus three. Oh, good. I thought I was landing on a two. I'm like, I've got a negative one. Right. 
And uh, don't forget to roll for Magnus. Uh, I could just roll a d20 for him. Rolling. You want me to roll it or do you see you're hold rolling on, it? Hold up. I got it. Okay. Because he has access to the character sheet. Well, that's just as well. He didn't roll the one. <laughs> <laughs> Did David say that he would show up at all today? Uh, today or yeah, he's he, uh... he's putting his son to bed. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I get I get that. I definitely get that. <laughs> he should be on soonish, because usually uh, his son goes to bed around this time. Well, regardless of this, this combat shouldn't take entirely too long. So yeah, he he gets a two, um, and then I'm gonna roll for the two, the two paradox zombies real quick. Seven and eight. All right. So let's see who goes first. Hey, I've got a quick, right. I've got uh, a quick question about Yeah, Stockshime, you go first. Yeah. Nice. So let's say Stockshime doesn't want to go first. Is holding your action and basically like moving your initiative after somebody else a thing in this as well? No. Okay, I didn't know. I just want to make sure. Like, I'm, I'm not doing it like that, at least, because that, that definitely... That that definitely kind of breaks the action economy for this uh, for this campaign. Okay, no, that's fair. I just wanted to verify it. Not that I was going to. It was just like a, a curiosity. Yeah. I think it'll I break will. something later down the line, and I kind of don't want to take that risk. I understand. Yeah. I will um, take off, and with my quarter staff wielded two handed, I will womp one of these zombies. Before you do that, roll me two D, uh, D6s. This again. I rolled a six and then a four. Oh. You rolled a six and then a four? All right. Where is that? Ah, here it is. So take two points away from charisma and add two points to intelligence you are one smart dude i mean oh all right that drops my charisma modifier to a plus zero very sad times you were perfectly average oh thank you. as all things should be <laughs> all right <laughs> and now i will soar forward and I will attempt to whack one with my quarter staff, uh, right. two handed. Roll it. I believe a twenty-four hits. Absolutely. All right. Roll for damage. Nine. All right. So you dealt nine damage to this dude. He looks bloodied. All right. Then I'm not in the mood to be uh, drunkenly hilarious. So a bonus action. Um, I will unarmed strike, reaching out with my talons after the first thwack and attempt to rip his face from his face. As you attempt to grab him with your hand, ah. he makes a reaction move <clears throat> and grabs uh, and grabs your hand. So make a deck, uh, make a deck save. Oh, why is he doing that? Tell him to stop. Make a deck save. I got a seventeen. All right, you uh, you passed as uh, nice as he goes to as he goes to grab your arm. He, you uh, you stopped just short of him biting you, but he also stopped you from striking him. Oh, that stopped my unarmed attack. Yeah. These things wow. apparently are really strong, as you felt that grip. Well then, I will use a key point to flurry of blows. <laughs> and I will, uh... And I will go again, because you said he used his reaction. Alright, so... <clears throat> you, uh, roll for, uh, roll to hit. Alright, we'll try again. Let's, Let's go, stock shot. I got a 13. <laughs> that is... Hang on. 
Yeah, that, uh, that passes his armor class. All right, uh, roll for damage. Oh. Rad. All right, first talent. He manages to stop me. This one, though, does eight points of... Is it slashing? Yeah. Eight, yeah, uh... Like... Yeah, yeah slashing. eight points of bludgeoning. Or slashing, yeah. I'm Good using, I'm using oh, my Eric. I accidentally, I accidentally rolled again for you. My bad. So... I but yeah, you, yeah, you kick his ass. So, uh, so you shove your other, uh, so as you shove one of the, your talons into his face, you can feel, you can feel it kind of cave as you push his head clean off, and then kick his body down. All right. His partner, uh, his partner, turning and looking a, a little bit scared, but also really excited, and yet lamenting, but also spitting on, but also spitting on his corpse. Okay, and. As a result of my drunken technique, whenever you use flurry of blows, you gain the benefit of the disengage action. So I will veer off to the side and get away from this dude. You are not close enough to him for uh, for the. Disengage. You were not. Yeah, you were okay. already disengaged. I will veer off anyhow. All right. And now with that, it is currently. Wait for one. Uh, it's currently Taylor's turn. So there's um, did what uh, did Stockchime um take it out completely? Yeah, Stockchime. Yeah, you just saw Stockchime kick one of uh one of their asses. The heads. But, well, yeah. I know the head came clean off, but there's zombies. So I don't know if he's like still alive or not. <laughs> you saw, and you also saw him kick down the. You also saw him kick down the body, and it like looked completely inert. Okay, sounds good. And there's only one left, right? Yeah, there's only one left. Okay, perfect. Uh, I will just cast uh, Sacred Flame on the remaining one. Roll for damage. Boo to all of you! Damage, no, I... Oh, you, you have to make the oh, dex sorry, check sorry, sorry. Uh, Yeah, I have to make the dex check. Hold on. My good wrist I is also my bad shoulder, you. though. A different character, Brooklyn. It's Dex, right? Yeah, he has to beat a fifteen. Ha! <laughs> All right. Well, he did not beat a fifteen, so roll for damage. Now I can roll. Perfect. Yeah. My hero. A whopping three damage. Take that. Three damage. All right. <laughs> you showed him. <laughs> he I am he. So useful. <laughs> so as. A small spark of radiance bursts from his chest. You can see it left a little bit of a sear on him, but he brushes his, uh, but he brushes it off and looks pissed. Oh, good! I just served to make him mad. All right, protect. He me. did do some damage. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm ending my turn there. Dope. It is now currently. Let's see. Iron's turn. It is currently Blot's turn. All oh. right. So, um, no one is super close to this creature, correct? You you all are about, like, 40 feet away. Except for Stockchime, who uh, just, like, got up there and, and completely fucked him up. Awesome. Okay, well, in this case, I mean... There are greater fights yet to be had, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, raise my hand and chant in a weird primal and uh, unforgiving language and point my hand and uh, cast Frostbite upon this creature. Uh, and so it just has to make a con save of 15. All right. Okay. It did not. <laughs> so it takes three points of cold damage, and it now has yep. disadvantage on attack rolls for the next turn or its next attack roll. Uh, <clears throat> doo -doo -doo. On the next attack roll, yeah. Uh, that it makes before the end of its next turn. So one round with disadvantage on next attack. Okay, that's nice, actually.
So as you uh, cast Frostbite, and you can I see it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You can see that the zombie kind of reacts to it and start to burn up as well a bit, and then it kind of pats where uh, where its frost came uh, where its frost came from and starts rubbing it all over its body, laughing uh, a little bit maniacally. Okay. And then as a bonus, I'm going to... Yeah, Brad, where are you standing? I am probably standing in the back. <laughs> Not uh, very are you, close. Are you, are you close to us, me? I would ben, say, yeah, I would probably be close to you. Because okay. um, our horseman has not moved yet. Um, hey, I believe you have a club, correct? Or do you have a mace? No, remember, I got the uh, stick on the way, so... Yeah, I, I, I tap it, and I will cast Lely upon it. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wisdom is a plus five. Dang. That's so, yeah. so That's some tasty damage. Yeah. <laughs> Go beat the unliving shit Better out of it. I need, damage. To, I need to do that to to uh, Stockshine, but he's always, like, fucking... Going. Not next to just... me, so yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> he has he always goes first because of his high initiative, and he always flies turn one. So... Yeah. Well, I mean I have pretty high initiative too. We'll we'll just we just gotta roll off at some point. Yeah. So I'm all right, with that bird. is I know my gameplay. Eve Birdman's turn. Alright, I'm going to Hold that thought for one second. Sorry, guys. Turns out I had something in here I shouldn't have. So I am going to... Let's see. If I do my two-weapon fighting, the second attack counts as a bonus move, right? Bonus action. Can you guys hear me? Am I muted? What did I do? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry. Or, okay. What you there, there I am. Okay. I was like, oh, my God. Uh, dragging it by the ears. So if I... So my... Uh, if I do two weapon fighting with my second sword, that's my bonus action, right? That's what we talked about. Um, I need to actually ch double check that because I think we fixed that last session, but I'm not entirely sure. So let me, I think we sorted that out. I think we sorted that out. Sorted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, so you have dual wielder, which uh, add plus one bonus to AC while you're wearing wielding separate melee weapons in each hand. Can use two weapon to fighting, even with one-handed melee weapons that aren't light, and can draw and stow two one hand two one-handed weapons when you'd normally be only be able to draw draw and stow one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got two weapon fighter or dual wielder, so you're good. So that so I can just yeah. do attack, attack, bonus action, charge if I charge them that turn. Well, no, you would have to choose either charge or two weapon fighting. Okay, no, that, that's. I was just trying to confirm that two weapon fighting is in fact a bonus action. Yeah, oh, two look, weapon fighting is a bonus. bonus action. So, okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna run at him and just try to hit the guy twice with my swords. Oh crap! His blood still on my back. You late? You're committed. Oh, I was gonna say, buckle up, buddy. Blood is, right. is still on your back. Actually, I. We could retcon it if you want. I don't know about you, but I Blood can't actually cast. No, I. what I'm saying is I can't cast Shillelagh on Brad's weapon. As soon as I stop essentially holding it, it goes away. So that can't work. Oh, really? Yeah. So I would I mean, I... put it on my own. Unless you want to let that happen. I, I'm going to let that happen just because that seems like something your character would do. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Then I retract my interruption. Continue as you were, main hero. We are Excellent. running in. Let's go stab this thing twice with rapiers because I can. So. All right. I'm going to just. For, uh, roll the attack. Yeah. Roll, roll it. Come on, plus eight. Come on, plus eight. Is a B good or a B bad? Oh, good. Does a, does a 28 hit him? You crit! You crit! Oh, this is going to be close. 
damage. Roll for damage. I'm gonna cover my mouth <laughs> and protect my plant from the viscera <laughs> and the oh. energy explosion that's about to occur. Oh, this is only my first attack, boys. This isn't even my final form, just like taxes. I don't think you're two, gonna get another one. Two D eight plus that. six without the crit, or did it automatically do the crit with a two D eight? I I, uh, I think it automatically does. Yeah, it. yeah, I think it automatically crit it. So that's two D six, two D eight plus six comes out to be fifteen. Oh, I was hoping for a little more gusto from that attack. You can. You can hear a very loud sound play as your sword slashes through this undead, and it goes... I'm sorry, was that too loud? You're fine. That was actually not too quiet. Loud I couldn't hear you at all. Oh. Well, you hear a an incredibly loud, uh, an incredibly loud clicking sound as you slash your sword through, clean through this undead. And it takes a second, but you sheath your sword. And as your sword finally hits the sheath, it slides in two. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, and the I'll combat's over. Flash. You guys, you guys just won. I mean, it's only thanks to Give my yourself, free damage. Uh, 600, uh, 600 XP. Can I stab the body with my other attack just to be like, Pokey, pokey, double tap, make sure it's dead. Fine. How much HP? Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm going to... I'm sorry, not HP experience. Because I'm going to roll a one and somehow uh, actually stab Blot. Are we keeping track of experience? I thought we're just being told when to level up. Yeah, I no, thought that was the case. I mean, you don't have to keep track of experience because I probably will t tell you like when to level up. I just say add experience as like a tracker to see like generally if you guys want to know how close you are to leveling up okay oh okay you can do it you don't have to it's just something that i that you can have to track your your progress uh i'm aware of my capabilities and the man my parents knew i would grow up to be because of my special colored hair <laughs> I killed that guy. How much HP do I get? You're right, Wolf. I just need four, man. Give me that four juicy HP. Vampire as you sensory. gloat, <laughs> Sorry, you going. can hear, a, as you gloat, you can hear a very ominous voice in the back of your head saying, Prince, has this ever worked? You don't know where it's from, but you know that it's only relevant to you because you are indeed the anime protagonist here. It's a flashback to something. Something you loved from a previous life. But you don't know what it is. It's anime. I, I, I'm getting that it's anime. I just don't actually know what that's from. It's a, It's from abridged. It's it's Cell, right? Like, right before oh he's about to Oh my god, you're Vegeta's right. ass. It it's is. Prim. It is Cell. Has this ever worked? I just... When it comes to Cell, I just prefer Cell versus uh, Bobby Hill. Best, absolute best. That's you my snap purse. back from your. Keep going. You snap back from your odd trance, and you feel both. Well, in the, you you feel both happy you had it, but also a little bit weirded out. And it's not an omen that you feel is relevant, but it's one that could lead that could lead you back home. Oh, so the was... place you belong. The place that that you need to be. You don't belong here. You don't. You've always felt outcast here. Why are you even here? Why are you? Oh, wait. The party's waiting on you. All right, <laughs> let's go on. It's a hurry up, person who became our leader two seconds after we met him. <laughs> <laughs> anime right. protagonist that doesn't know anime actually sounds like the plot of an anime. <laughs> Pretty sure it is. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. That was amazing. Please, as we were. All right. As you're walking through the swamp, you, you're you just walking through a particularly narrow uh, narrow pathway, uh, pathway of tree roots. 
as they do grow pretty high. And as you finally make your way into the swamp proper, you look around and you see giant, giant cypress trees covered in moss with some very small looking alligators around and what seem to be these weird, they look like pelicans, but with two, but with two, what, what's the word for the, the thing below their beak? With, with two of the, with two of the water sacks below their beaks. Gullet? Yeah, gullets, with two gullets. I was about to say giblets, so I'm glad you said it. Oh, yeah. And you can see, and you can see all manner of odd creature, but also, you can see weird variants of the undead that you saw outside. Dragonflies with similar triangles around them, only with a odd yellow color as well, mixed in with the red and blue. There are weird birdhouses. There seem to be like just birdhouses flying around with their own wings. One of them gives a rather ominous, welcoming, eerie look at, Sh at Stockshine before fluttering off. It's like, what in the wide world of Disney is going on? Hmm? All right, well, I think you lads can handle it from here. Good knowing you, buddy. Just to be getting back to the Aloha Bear Cave. I have, I have a winery to explore. <laughs> Yo. Are you Never saying that you're turning around? Amara, yeah, thank you so much for that raid. How are you funny. doing? How was your stream? Like, Red Queen, thank well, you for the follow. And then How are you? Thank you, you thank you so much. Like little Scooby -Doo walking oh. on air kind of thing. You know. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing you didn't turn around. All right, forward. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. Would you say that these animals are like oh, animal that's... animals? They, they seem to be wildlife. They wouldn't be seen, uh, you wouldn't have seen them if you were on your plane. Oh. Uh, well, that's only a wee bit ominous. Hi, everybody! What's up, Maxi So, this, uh, Necromaster likes to experiment, it looks like. And make Frankenstein. I'm Esque still gonna monster. attempt this. I'm gonna cast, uh, Speak with Animals on whichever closest non-sentient or as far as i can tell non uh speaking animal uh, is near us i think you're the closest thing to a non-sentient <laughs> that, that would be me this actually gives them the ability to communicate with me not the other way around but no, still well, <laughs> bridge of counts. communication is canon. So, yeah. counts. <clears throat> you cast speak with you cast speak with animals however you don't entirely have a completed concept of language but in this case that's actually a good thing because what you get back from a nearby dragonfly that seems to be infected is just an onslaught of what seem to be w gibberish words that are trying to express feeling and the biggest feeling that you can see is pain confusion and contempt for the one that brought that brought them this so you can see that it's aware that something brought this upon them uh, so this is a, like a like frankenstein's an, monster a, a direction of that enmity possibly or maybe like areas or best. structures that it would either avoid or hate the dragonfly turn uh the dragonfly turns its head and lets out a small spit in a general direction diagonal left of you guys uh in my un unreliable uh manner i'm going to point in that direction and just continue pointing in that direction do we make perception checks to see if we can distinguish this from his normal spasms <laughs> go ahead oh crap I'm surprised you guys haven't been trying to interact more with what's around you, trying to, like, see what else is real or not real. I rolled a 10 person. I rolled a 16. I am, un in I am tremendously uninterested in experimenting <laughs> after the last time one of these things touched me. 
<laughs> right. All right. Most of you guys can see that he actually has reason behind his pointing, that it isn't actually spasming, and uh, you can interpret that as an actual, we should go this way. So God has never steered us wrong before. <laughs> Except that was the first time. Except but every time. We don't, talk, we don't talk about that. The little well, women. I mean, we, be right I, the water fountain. The plant. Being strapped to my back. Other than those things, he hasn't stirred you us. You know, him trying to uh, just slip drugs into Stockstein's drink. Yes, I think we moved past that and became better friends, so I'm willing to extend the old branch of trust. Well, as long as you're willing, then okay. Let's do it. I'm down. Let's go. I'm going to lay right. down and whisper to Blot. I swear to God, if this fucks me up one more goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> Give him this, like, head tilted to the side, uh, blank, like, un, 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 not understanding look, and just sort of nod a little bit, like, yeah. <laughs> David yeah. said five ish minutes. Oops. Excellent. Awesome. Uh, you guys just want to wait for him for now? Sure, I could go because, use the restroom yeah. real quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. PRB. We'll probably have need of this cannon in about two seconds, so. Yeah, BRB. Okay, I will BRB. Ooh. Don't worry, chat. I would never leave you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for when his internet dies. There. Can chat hear us? That's the real question. Yes, I think Chad can hear us. My awesome. stream is hella delayed, but I finally heard my own voice coming through it. <laughs> well, that's annoying. I hope everybody's doing all right. It's Friday. Fantastic. I'm a little concerned. I want to keep throwing my cool uh, intelligent sword and stuff, but I'm worried something's going to happen to it. Like, what if they grab onto it and it becomes their friend? Best of wills. That's the last thing we need is psycho necromancer with questions of morality, philosophy, and existence being like, you know what? Go forth. Unbelieve all of the fleshlings, and it's just going to turn into Dark Knight sword. That it'll be awful. It'll become a death knight. Like, literally. Alright, then I'll kill him and I'll just get an upgrade for free. Oh, I just... <laughs> Alright. Scheme plan. in play. My knee just gave out. <laughs> My knee just gave out just a little bit. Is David already in here or not yet? Did you just say you you you, you gave out a pee a little bit? No, my knee gave out a little bit. <laughs> just just kidding. I, oh, I know, but it sounded a little stung. more entertaining. No, my... I feel like I just like tried to sit down too quick and like my foot wasn't planted right. So that sucked. Oh no, Lao, I didn't bring enough candy to share with Twin One. That sucks. It's a good thing I had some. By the way, Lewis, mm -hmm. look at the stream real quick. Just oh, to look at my on. shirt. I'm scared too, but we'll try I it. love this shirt. I also realized I need to do more like just chatting streams just to talk. With, uh, oh chat. yeah, I, I, I noticed that earlier. That's pretty cute. That's pretty flippin' kawaii. Kawaii oh, as good lord. Oh, speaking of, I need to give you your your birthday presents. Uh -huh. I still have them, um, this and they're pretty legit. Yes, Kira, it's because I'm old, and I don't. I need to fix either my ankle or my ankles or hips because that's what's causing my knee pain. I think it's my ankles. It's just it. Yeah, cool. You didn't have to do that. Also, Lewis, I was not able to get Memorial Weekend off this year. That's fine. We're actually not. <laughs> we're not camping. No one no one has uh, made the plans to. Okay. So my so dad if, and I are going to be going to Carl's bad. Cool. But I took if, two if, weeks off. If, <laughs> like, well, I, I was going to say, if, uh, to the if my fire station ends up going camping, you're welcome to come with us. 
Like we'd be, I don't um, know. They said we'd be going somewhere nice that doesn't have rivers for river rafting, right, but it's still right. really, really nice. Yeah, uh, maybe. My second shot appointment is on the 29th, which is Saturday. Yeah! That Saturday. So um, I may not be able to. Uh, if it's before or after, then that, that might be good. But Buttercup um, is piccolo. Yeah, you're going to need a couple days, and don't forget it'll be three weeks before you're considered actually vaccinated. Yeah. yeah. So the second one is not even like, yeah. So theoretically speaking, um, I probably should decline just out of that because I won't be in the safe zone yet. So, well, it might be June, like towards the end of June. Uh, oh, the camping trip? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, all right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and I'm drinking God, I, Red's Apple Ale because why not? Because why not? Because yeah, why no, I not. I uh, I wonder how many people in chat have seen the community. I was watching that again, of course, with my dad, and oh, I just community? forget how much I love that show. I still need to There's finish just... it, but Community is hilarious. Yeah. I uh. I like how it starts off like a normal kind of college show. And then it's like, I think it was the trampoline episode was where it like kind of ventures into the realm of like, which is weird. I don't know. Well, it, it, I, I it, loved it though. Oh yeah. No, it's awesome. The, uh, the concept is pretty close to mash. Like, it, it mirrors MASH fairly well, and they even allude to... I mean, they allude to that in a lot of things, obviously. It, it But just... The, they're people in a place and uh, yeah. doing their thing, and, like, the background is, oh, there's school going on, but nope. Everything else is happening. That's just the setting it takes place in. I, uh... Yeah. Have you seen... It's going to be grossly inappropriate for chat, but there's the episode where uh, they find out that Abed's been tracking everything about the group, including when it's the female's time of the months. Oh, yeah, totally. And, uh, and then Damn, Kyle, they you gotta be set a him onto a, a, uh, <laughs> uh, the destroy bot. Yeah, I, I think that's the No, maybe that was later. I can't remember. Even though I just saw, I know that's in the similar time frame where they have Abed become like a, um, they remove his filters and he just starts going. Oh on yeah, a, I just like that. Like if you testing. if you see Test. his notebook and you pause it, you actually get Test a chance good. to see that. Uh, it's like he has all their like dates and the weeks like marked down from when it's going to happen and what they like to do to cope. And it's why he, when the time's approaching, he'll keep like chocolate on him and certain yeah. things. It's like. That is not all right. I'm sorry. Chocolate? Oh my god, thank you. Wait, no! So, there's actually... I've noticed there's a second, like, an under-conspiracy, and yes, they don't Kira. really point about it. I don't know if it's just inconsistency in the writing, but, like, uh, there's the episode where um, up, Pierce's dad money. shows up, right? But yeah, that's the video the game one, right? That's the first one I ever saw. Or no, was that a later one no. with the video game? No, Golly, no, no. Golly, they were the 130 bits. He didn't no. have to do that. Pierce's dad is wearing the ivory wig and is ultra racist, ultra elitist. Yeah, um, I, I And I Winger it. ends up like, you know, giving him a heart attack. But uh, if you remember, I noticed while re-watching it, like early, early in the series, like episode one or episode two, I can't, basically, when uh, Pierce accidentally calls his mom, um, she she mentions having seen his da his dad's ghost, and I was like, "That's odd. He's supposed to be already dead." So I was like, "Ooh!" Now I'm rewatching it, trying to look for those things to see if they're not like sneaking in a parallel time inside the, of the darkest timeline maybe yeah the yeah exactly well sort of um but if they're not doing it like already and telling an understory ah, or putting it in all. the undercurrent i was like oh that's interesting i doubt it but you know wait troy and Abbott in the morning 
Wait, I, am here, I thought that I her saying, I thought I saw your father's ghost was referring to uh, his father being in like a clan uniform or something. Taj and Wobbles in the morning. It might be. It could be. <laughs> I, I, I thought she was straight up. He was already established as dead, but that could also be the case too because he's, I, you know, obviously. I was going to say, I, I, do love, I do love the one where uh, Pierce is in the hospital so he gets everybody a gift. <laughs> knowing it would cause chaos. It's like, I did something nice. I got you all a gift. And like, I think it was uh, Annie. What's her name? She like. Yara. Yep. Yeah, like it was just meant to be a sweet gift and she overthinks the hell out of it because everybody else is. Dave, I can't <laughs> yeah. hear you. I'm back. Dave, turn yourself yeah. up. Can you guys hear me? Oh, he's here. Go. Okay, I hear you a little more. I hear Ta you. I've been trying to talk and say hi. Taj and Wobbles Excellent. in the Hello. morning. How's it going? Going well. Yeah, I was saying hi. I'm like, my thing says, you know, I'm talking on Discord, but they're not responding. Yeah, totally didn't. Heard nothing. Nothing. Mm. Yeah, community yeah. was <laughs> hilarious. Like the paintball mm -hmm. wars, Halloween, the Beetlejuice joke that everybody knows, which is still amazing. Lewis, you know the Beetlejuice thing, right? Yeah, yeah. The, they had the actor show up in the background well, I chat. all three times. No, it was yeah. the third. It was the third and time they... they say Beetlejuice, which happened to be mm -hmm. the first Halloween episode. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. What was Troy's gift in that episode? Oh no, Troy had the uh, the 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 reading rainbow guy, um, uh, Lamar. Yeah. Uh, Ed, LeVar Burton. Yeah. LeVar Burton, Burton, thank you. You can't be disappointed by a picture. A picture, yeah, exactly. Oh, I can just sit there watch the community just... anymore. Oh, dude, it's, yeah. it, it's so, so... What good. I've seen of it, I like. Hey, David, I just wanted to say that you remind me of a yellow card song because you're my only one. Hmm. That's a good song, dang it. That is. Um... Yeah, I've seen them live a few times, so. The community guys? Played it or no. no. Oh, yellow, yellow, yellow card. card. I'm sorry. They I was like, I went back school. to reading that. I was like, they did go to our high yeah. school, but it was a lunch that I wasn't on. Right. Yep. I I was confused as to why, what was happening. I was like, what in the world? But yeah. So D&D. &D. <laughs> All right. Yeah, D&D. &D. The hell is D &D? Gaming. Dind. Alternate reality. You gotta be this level of cool to understand Dind. No vowels. I won Dungeons and Dragons. And it was advanced. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I feel like that uh, Cyanide and Happiness um, video where it was like the guy on the Stairmaster. And like, he starts climbing it, then he gets to the top. And he's all, I did it! Also, Taj is singing uh, Reading Rainbow, but I'm thinking the DMX yeah. version. Butterflies in the sky. I can fly twice as high. What do you really what? want? Just like that, uh, that one short comic of like the butterfly getting like outflown by the human. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Anything you can do, it. I can do better. That's right. <laughs> the butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Aw. They already had so little and we took it away from them. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually i just watched a video recently explaining what happens to a caterpillar when they become a butterfly it's meant to be like a motivational speech but literally they like melt down to a liquid and then like are reborn as the butterfly it's not just like sprout wings and grow hair it's like no they melt down to nothing in that cocoon it's like oh god i'm going to be a beautiful <laughs> butterfly i'm ready though whenever you guys are i just need like a a brief recap of the like the last hour uh, <laughs> should happen. I went up for me. Let's go. Zombies covered in blue and red triangles. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they bit me and they made me very I feel, excuse me for aggressive just a moment, geometry I necromancer. If you'll excuse me for just a moment, <laughs> I will catch you up. I like that comic line. I just put it on stream without realizing. It's like, well, let's show it now. It's like. Fly twice as high. You Wait, ain't. Shit. <laughs> Yo, what's up, GGG? <laughs> How you been, brother? Thank you for following me on TikTok. Reminder, if you're not following me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. Actually, Goku, watch today's video. You'll uh, you'll like it. 
Actually, here, Lewis, I'm going to text it to you just because I think you'll also just get a kick out of it. The, the theme is like a, well, it's something that's kind of being done on TikTok a lot, but you'll hopefully appreciate what I did. That is my New Year's resolution is to try and appreciate more stuff, so. What I, is I that will sound try. I'm hearing behind it? I have no idea. It sounds like a fan. It's on uh, I... Sages. Uh, oh, yeah, that's my computer. Chugging. A chugga chugga. A chugga chugga. Choo choo. Chugga chugga Conroy. Good man. But yeah, Dave, so basically we hit some hot springs. An old guy started freaking out. He started saying a name. He exploded in a shiny ball of light. Uh, We got trapped by some like vine looking things. We're on another plane of existence. We're traveling to meet a necromancer named Seamus, who may or may not be from Ireland. Uh, I want to I want to see like your classic dark robes and like scythe necromancer with like the big red Irish beard. It's just like, you know, thick accent. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just a concept I haven't pictured yet. Um, but yeah, and now we ran into a I couple. I the kilt. Yeah, we ran into a couple. Oh, there's like his robe is it ends in a kilt. No underwear. Um, would that be Scottish? Anyways, uh, that would be Scottish. So we ran into two zombies. Uh, Wobbles took care of one. And with the backbone that is light and Lewis doing three damage apiece, I ran up and crit the guy for a lot of damage and killed him. The entire anime, like, quick slash, sheath my sword. And while he doesn't know what's going on, Nani! And right when the sword sheaths, he slides in half. And then while he was dead, I was was going to poke him with my... I'm impressed. And then while he uh, was dead, I was going to poke him with my second attack and realized I still have Lewis on my back and I will find a way to kill him accidentally. So I decided not to. I I fly in the face of danger. It's okay. You want we'll me to kill you so you can roll a character that actually talks. No. I want Iron Thanks, to gain Goku. sentience. That is my entire purpose. And he doesn't even know it. So there now you know. It, it's just gonna happen to happen at some point, maybe. See, I, what I you want. need is actually to get bitten by that zombie because it's <laughs> no throwing no, at that, you. That could kill around. me. I, all I know is I... charisma. I have one point that will straight up kill me. So Good we'll God. see if that happens. I uh, I want to be a spider that's get or that gets bitten by a radioactive pig. A spider that gets bitten by a radioactive man. No, that's uh, the spider, spider pig, pig or spider pig. No, no it wasn't spider. What was his name? Up and down. In uh, in uh, uh, into the Spider Verse. It wasn't Miles spider- Morales. No, but the uh, the one voiced by John Mulaney. Peter Porker. Was... Peter Porker, thank you. Yeah, Peter Porker. That's what he was. The spider got bit by a radioactive pig. I don't know. That's terrible. Thank Although you, I do Michael. like the spider bit by radioactive human. I just like that thought. Does that base itself on the rumor of like you swallow eight spiders a year? The yes. Myth? Wake up one day with spider powers and a bad stomach ache. Ah, it was my time. I got the one. All right. So what's the plan? Well, you guys are current. All right, so actually, I'm going to catch up David real quick. Okay. So here's what's happened so far. The party has arrived in all in all have today, and has seen the it's pretty nice out. There's the the there's a hot spring over behind the town square. There's a nice fountain in the town square. Pretty nice place, mm-hmm. except for there were these weird spinning red and blue triangles that just were in a corner for a second, pulsated, and then winked out of existence. You actually went over to go inspect one, but then fell back as you saw this weird figure just appear in front of you. It was going to attack you, too, until you just completely snapped out of it. Mm -hmm. Nobody (laughs) else seemed to see it, though. And so as you guys uh, 
walked uh, as you guys walked through town. You guys kept getting little glances. Later, of Michael. These weird Thank you so much, town. buddy. We love you. But take care of yourself. Didn't quite Asta, know what was happening. Much love. Much love. After you, after you, thank for the raid. All went into a hot spring, all exhausted. You met an old, you met an old man. He didn't seem particularly inclined to speak, but once weird shenanigans were amok, specifically of the, well, wobbles, seemingly fighting nobody kind. You, you, you guys started to freak out. Everybody got out of the, everybody got out of the. Uh, out of the hot springs and wobbles got bit by what something that you guys couldn't see suddenly he's smarter <laughs> ha -ha. Well, first i got dumber then i and healthier then i got smarter but slightly less charming and then oh. and so you guys and so you guys were led by this old man whom you never got you never got the name of but you trusted him for some reason. He Good brought you to me. this weird crop circle, and you all got absorbed by the crops. The uh, the crops just closed in around you. You weren't entirely sure what they were. They looked a little bit like corn, but they could have been wheat, too. They were just kind of a weird, nondescript crop. <laughs> and you woke up completely surrounded by... Well, not completely surrounded, but with these weird paradox zombies everywhere. And this old man started just completely lost it at that point. He started ranting, he started raving about everything he knew, and he started saying the name of somebody. But as soon as he said that name, he burst into light and his <laughs> skin light. was left his skin was left behind as kind of a shell. Well that's as terrifying. Yeah. All right. And, uh, the light, the lighted figure of a man seems to dash somewhere else. That's. I don't know. I'm trying to picture it. I don't know if I'd be terrified or like, ooh. Oof. Magnus was so, characterized as being unhappy with events because he could not explain what was going on. <laughs> yeah, you you have no idea what what's going on right now. Like you are terrified, and also it's be uh, but also you're kind of reassured because you knew that you weren't going crazy back uh, when you first saw it. Well, that's always uh, relieving. I just had to put it in chat, Dave, when he said, you're all exhausted. I thought of how people from Albuquerque say that. Oh, I'm all exhausted. All exhausted. That's, that's how people yeah, from Albuquerque people in, talk. People in New Mexico tend to emphasize all. It's our adjective of choice. Uh, instead of very. Yeah. Instead of saying I'm very tired, it's I'm all tired. He's very happy. Oh, uh, he's all happy. Anyways, as we were. Thank you for that cup. I regret nothing. Okay. So, Jim tried to find you guys, but was left behind, mm. and eventually managed to find, uh, and eventually managed to find you by following your voices, but he couldn't see you. And upon doing it, uh, upon doing what seemed to be some sort of true sight spell on his eyes, he was able to see you and was curious as to how you guys managed to make it into. A neighboring plane. It was a it was a nearby one, so it probably wouldn't have been hard to banish you there. But it's still weird to see you there. Yeah, just had to take the right terminal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one physically hurt. <laughs> you seem to be specifically like a yeah, yeah. You took psychic damage from that one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no regrets, man. No regrets. Anyways, sorry. Wait, just one moment. All right. Now I can keep track of that. Uh. Wrong one. Excellent. So, you guys. So, <clears throat> Jim explained that he knew 
who this was based off of the like style of his magic. It was uh, somebody named uh, it was somebody Shemus. named Shemus, the, uh, Shemus, and he just calls him Shemus the Necromancer, uh, who was obsessed with philosophy to the point where he just drove him mad and he tried to use magic to answer his questions, but didn't work out. He just ended up going completely insane from magic misuse. So you, uh, so you all are. He doesn't in entirely know why uh, he knows or how he knows that she misses it, uh, that Seamus is in the swamp, but it's just a gut reaction. And you guys can tell that he's right just based off of how many more weird turned creatures there are. So right now, you guys are going through the swamp. All right. And Blot is actually pointing the way because he casted something, speak with animals, and mm -hmm. spoke to Dragonfly. And the Dragonfly said, over there. Carry on by Wayward Son. So as you all are walking through the swamp, I'm going to have to ask everybody to make me a wisdom save real quick. Wisdom save. All right. I think we just roll wisdom. Wisdom. I've never. Oh, touched, my wisdom. I don't touch the stuff. Is it my passive wisdom or wisdom wisdom? Wisdom. Wisdom wisdom. Uh, wisdom, wisdom save. save. Oh, I just clicked on the... Yay. Yeah. A 13. Which is better than I had hoped. I got a 4. My character Wait, is actually, smart, that's, not wise. That's be, that was a wrong roll. Add plus 2 to mine, because I... I just rolled the mod... Wait, why is that? Plus 7. Oh, right, 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 right. Because I have uh, proficiency in wisdom. So add plus two to my roll. So it's going to be 16. Wait, are we wisdom check or wisdom save? Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Save, wisdom. save. Okay. save. I have a 19. Is there a difference? Yeah, there there is a difference. Yeah. You guys should be making saves. Yeah. I didn't realize there was a little I only saving. see checks except yeah. for Stockshine. Uh, everyone, everyone who did a save instead of a check. Everyone who did a check instead of a save reroll real quick. So my saving throw is the same as my uh, my thing is minus one. So can I just keep my what did I get a thirteen? Yeah, it's a minus one regardless. Well, good roll for me. I'm just we'll roll, take rolling for I the sake of clicking the a button. <laughs> oh, I should I should have taken the sixteen instead. <laughs> but it's all good. I'll, I said thirteen. I'll stick yep. with my thirteen. I rolled a net twenty. I rolled it. All right, well, I'm proud of you, buddy. So, so stock charm doesn't uh, doesn't doesn't feel anything at all because having dealt uh, having dealt with this uh, more uh, more than once now, he's basically had it, and so he's on guard. Mag the same could be said of Magnus after having encountered uh, these undead uh, and being spooked by them more than once. He's very much on guard. So, whenever an odd presence starts to haunt over them, it really. Does uh, it really doesn't affect them that much? However, well, Teo, uh, Teo on the other hand is just protected through divine right. The, the uh, he he's able to cha uh, he's able to channel sort of his he's able to cover himself in cleric and keep himself from being detected <laughs> by these. <laughs> No, but in, in in all seriousness, he uh, he's able to sort of deter uh, he's able to sort of deter these forces from himself because of his divine uh, because of his divine uh, presence. However, Steve is uh, Steve is of no such. And while Iron is just uh, is just resistant to this naturally because of uh, because of his attunement with nature and the arcane, Steve is very much affected and begins to feel a weird spike in the back of his head. So I just have a, 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 quick, one, but... a quick question. Would my bravery from the fact that I just sliced an abomination in half no. give me... Well, it was worth a no. shot. 
Okay, so I feel a weird spike. All right, let's see. Rolling 3d4. Your confidence, your overconfidence betrays All right. What the character. actual hell? Take four points of necrotic damage, three points of radiant damage, and three points of cold damage. Okay, 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 one sec. I need to... Oh, I'm messed up right now. So, three necrotic... Four what? Oh wait, sorry, not not not. Uh, so three necrotic, four radiant, and three psychic. Sorry, not cold psychic. Psychic, my bad. I was so confused. Okay, three necrotic, four radiant, three psychic for a total of ten damage to what I already have. Yes. Yeah. So sorry, really quick, just one interject. Um, because I was watching a little bit on the big screen. Uh, I know that we took a short rest. Um, I don't yeah, know can... if anyone healed my character during that short I, I, rest I, I, yeah i can heal your character how many uh how many hit dice do you want to recover you haven't taken any damage so it doesn't make any difference oh so am i supposed to be at full health right now i don't recall no no we're uh, you get the benefits of a short rest how many hit oh. dice do you want to expend uh we'll just go three on it i'm trying to remember what my hit dice is on this if it's d8 or d6 I think it's, it's a d8 okay and then I'm just going to crank out 3dh real quick and heal myself. Yeah. Aren't you only missing like 6 health? Wow. Yeah, and I only healed for 5. <laughs> oh, well maybe it's a good thing you expended 3 then. <laughs> I know my luck. I know my luck. Alright. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. Please continue. Alright. Let's see, did anyone aside from, did anyone aside from just, yeah, no, just, just Steve failed. So, Steve, I'm going to have to ask you to roll 2d6s, please. And if I refuse, I'm kidding, I'm rolling them now. Uh, you extend That's not don't. an option. You That's not an option. Uh... <laughs> but yes, nicely. He didn't. Well, in my language, it was nice. It was, but that doesn't get you anywhere. Let's see, five and or wait, no, four and five. Four and five. All right. Five so, average. take three points away from your constitution for uh uh in part of your temporary modifiers. And how put do, three uh, points towards your intelligence. Yay! Wait, uh, how do I do temp modifiers? Uh, go into other modifier and write minus three in constitution and plus three, or just three in other modifier in, uh, intelligence. So, I'm in other... Oh, that's under actions. Oh, look, there's a button for short rest. Um... <laughs> I never noticed that because I usually don't click on the click on the uh, so you're going to want to click on the 17. I see on your I, constitution yeah. score. Other modifiers, so minus three, intelligence, other modifier plus three. I got you now. Yeah. Don't worry, I can take it. I can. I feel like Drax in uh, Infinity War. It's like, don't worry, do it. I can take it. No, you can't. Sorry, maybe just me. Anyways, that sucks, but I feel smart all of a sudden. Indeed. You, you, you can feel the knowledge coursing through your brains as you start to start to have a brain blast, kind of like Jimmy Neutron. And they're like, wait, arithmetic. I can do that well what? now. Guys, my newfound intelligence has helped me figure something out. This sucks. Well spotted. <laughs> you, your bones also start to feel a little bit lighter, but also not as dense as they used to be. Did Blot get off my back? Blot's still very much uh, supported. It's just, you know, you, you, you generally feel a little bit of uh, lethargy. All right, cool. Well, that sucks. What's wrong, Dolly? 
It's all good. Why are you here? It's all good. You hear a voice echo. Come right in. Come right in. Ooh. Interesting. I'm sorry, Dolly. Well, you all hear a voice slowly whisper through the swamp. You're not entirely sure where it's coming from, but it seems to be coming from the. But it seems to be from the general direction of the path that you're on right now. Lot was right. We're supposed to come in if we don't know where we are coming into. I'm sorry. This is just uh. Go behind you! Go behind you! No, you can, you can come towards, come towards. Oh, guys, in for a penny, in for Are a you pound. Here to hurt us. He hurt us. Well, wait. Everybody can hear us right now, right? It's just a matter of see us. Yeah. Mm. I'll be honest. I don't like this. I'm. I like you either. I love you. Damage. All I know is my head hurts. I feel brighter in a shining light way. And like my flesh is about to fall off the bone. I could use a little bit of help. Why are you here? I know why. I don't have any questions for you. Get out. We're, we're trying to get off okay, this forever. plane of existence and back to our normal one. We're either talking to two people or one person with a split personality. Just wanted to point out. Three people and one is just being really quiet. I'm neither. I'm both. You all drop I got it. Zorn and Thorn. Zorn and Thorn. And you can start to see somebody off in the distance over a, what seems to be a... a very classical cauldron. Oh my god, is that vintage? Man, there's like some genuine burn marks on the bottom. There's like some rust on the sides. Ah, oh, and there's even wear and some marks from sacrificial daggers. This thing's a real deal. You can tell this all from away, but also... Oh my god, there's a necromancer right there. Ugh. Oh. There is, but there also is tall and gray-skinned and has some weird robes that only seem to be like a banner he's Is he's he... wearing the challenge banner yes this man seems to be wearing some sort of banner that has an unmistakable keterisian emblem on it Ooh. And he's like why have you come you've come to steal friend well we could barter i, I say this was the utmost love and affection and friendliness that I can. We've come to earn that banner that you are currently wearing. Oh, this thing? Here, have it. Sweet. Go away, you can't have it. <laughs> Is it possible for me to persuade you <laughs> on this? No, well, my heart is set. Yes, uh, yeah, probably. Well, I like half those answers. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, Go ahead. Like. We can make a deal. He puts his hands towards his head for a second to, as if he's trying to focus on speaking. If you will allow me to study your... Oh, what seems to be exotic body. I'm sorry, I don't see many centaurs around here. Uh, I will give you this challenge banner for free. I I'll think allow it. he's flirting with you. I will also <laughs> allow it. Hi, Zephyrs! Sorry. You'll, you'll allow it. I, 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 I examine. <laughs> you mean just look? Oh, thank you no, so, so no, much. Sorry, sorry. I was, I was really thinking. So what do you, what do you, what do you mean by examine? What do you mean by examine? He might mean like dissect on you. He wants to what? For the record. For he the got record, sex on you. Sage. Oh, sage, for I should have talked. Twin one said, I'll allow it. My brother was like, hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. David oh, was. Oh, you said I'll. David was talking yeah, yeah, for yeah. me. This I was talking to the like, chat. Oh, I think he's mixed up the twins. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. Saved by the twin card. Yeah, I was the one that yelled. Damn it. Up oh. so what do but, you mean but by I experiment? The now, now to now do the, it. Well, I feel bad because he already kind of spoiled a hex, and I feel like this is good plot device. So I'm thinking I might allow it for the sake Let's of see. plot. But I, All right, Kyle. Would a 19 persuade you? Uh, mm hmm. Uh, do it. 
Do it. I, I will say that a 19, that a 19, you, you're going to have to roll against deception for this because at this point your twin's convincing you. Well, it doesn't let's happen see if, if, you, I, if you roll higher than No, enough. I thought it was going to be a 20, but I rolled a two. Nope. Yep. You, you sure. think it's safe. But, but, but I'll make you a deal. I'll make Excellent. you a deal. I'll give you a stronger weapon as a thank you. Oh, twice from My Hero Academia. <laughs> Didn't you gain intelligence? How are you more dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he's about to gain Thank a lot you, more. More so. Any... So, so for for the sake of the plot that you've already somewhat given away, I'll roll along with it. It's like for that banner, friend, I'll let you run some tests on me. Excellent. He ca he claps his hands together, and put uh, and puts you in a hex that. Puts you in an odd surrounding of triangles. These yeah, triangles look red, anything like blue, what we they, saw earlier. They look exactly the same, and they are wrapped around your entire body. And it seems to include block too. Oh, oh good. No. At least I'm not alone. All right, hold on. Hey, you moment, broke the bro. deal. You said just him, and you're including blot. I'm not bound by a deal. I'm a out. fucking necromancer. Okay, and then I think he I'd freak out. And he continues his hex, and you and Blot are currently incapacitated and shaking on the ground, in and also frightened. There's hey, no like will save or Tuesday. anything I can do. I have an idea. So nothing's changed for Blot. <laughs> so you are frightened <laughs> exactly. and incapacitated. I will. I will shout to the necromancer. I would okay. also like to inspect you, and I will fly towards him. All right, everybody, roll for initiative. Obviously, that's what I meant, but he wasn't supposed to know that. In including the incapacitated? Uh, and yeah, Am I muted? The no. The incapacitated. Yeah, sorry. No. I just curse you, little virtual die. Well, good, I, good thing I rolled a one total. Tipped over at the last <laughs> second. I got a nine. All right. Give me one sec to set this up, and I will be... Right. Hi, Golden. Yeah. Hi, Zeph. What's up, you two? Oh, okay, I, I started from looking at the bottom. Like, well. man, I'm crushing you guys just, on initiative. Just chilling. And then I see, you know, 17, 21. I'm like, never mind. Guys, I need to say this this statement from Good Guy Goku. And I'm, I might just VIP him for this line alone. He said, I love necromancers. They can really liven up a funeral. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, as we were. Mm. Necromancers are just clerics that don't give up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Has everyone rolled? Yes. Excellent. Let me check. Uh. All right, we got 17. We got... 21. Oh, that was a rough one for me, boys. I shouldn't have gone along with what my brother said. Nine. My man! I love you all. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who's here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right.